Welcome back people to the Ballistic Career Mode, this is Season 3, Episode 3. And today, we're going to finish off the month of September. We're going to have Southampton in the Carabao Cup, uh, Chelsea in the league, and then Real Sociedad in the Champions League. Let's, let, let's waste no time, no time, and get straight into it, man. With the second team in the uh, FA Cup. Uh, FA Cup, EFL Cup. Complacency it can be a problem. You've got to use that to your advantage if you're playing a home side as expected to go. Forward. Damn it, man! I want to just ball roll that back and, hold and put it back into Martinelli. I'm recording this straight after the last episode, but basically, um, by the way, where Martinelli did miss from three yards out, and I still can't get over that. Shabash slide. Good save from the goalkeeper. Good reaction save. Probably see why we're over the top. on this fellow as one to watch. Lee, in particular, what do you expect? Much there we go. That's what I'm talking about. I knew it was going in before it actually went in. That was a nice over the top ball from, I think it was well, Guendouzi. He just uses his chest to get it down. Carries on. He powers it into the right hand side of the goal. He can get there. Possibilities. Oh, come on. Should he hit the corner flag and stay here? It looks promising. Should have been able to intercept that one. Save from the goalkeeper. It wasn't meant for him. It was meant for Martinelli. Don't know what Gunduzi was doing, man. Nice luck from whoever that was. Oh, what an opportunity. Why did he lose so much pace then? He lost so much pace, it was ridiculous. And attempting the through ball. You know, tempting it, but didn't work out. Oh, should have passed it to Saka. It was my bad. Intercepted well worldwide well, man from Panos. Should have been able to score that. Gabriel Martinelli. Oh, what a save from Foster! Oh, that was some quick reactions, man. Look at this. Used all of his body. Really good save. Played into the center of the box. Oh, what a clear off the line. They have been peppered with shots and are surviving. Well, it's only still one though. It should at least be two, maybe even three at this point, to be honest. Gabriel Samuel Intiti might well be on his way to Real Madrid Lee. Well, I've heard a figure of around 75 million pounds for this. Should be able to intercept that way, Duzi. They might be onto something. That was a terrible shot from Rhys Nelson. Awful. Nelson. Guendouzi. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. That was a nice ball from Guendouzi and Martinelli was not going to let it go to waste. Beautiful ball from Guendouzi. Look at, look at the ball. Perfect. Oh, we actually got a hand to it as well. Oh, what a save from the goalkeeper. Pushes that out. Well, I do like this goalkeeper, you know, it's quite good. Only 10 minutes remaining here. And he's broken free. Martinelli. Oh, for his hat trick. For his hat trick. He has been definitely unplayable. That was an amazing shot, to be honest. Amazing. And after this performance, how can I just not leave him as a permanent cup striker? For all the FA Cup matches I played, all the F EFL Cups, I should be starting him, really. Activity has been absolutely fantastic. Their imagination, their delivery, their execution, a real top draw performance. Oh, what a pass there as well. <laughs> I, was do I was being cheeky, but I didn't put enough power onto it. One minute remaining. Okay, 3-0, definitely gets the match ball after that. Okay, so we play Chelsea next, there is three teams on 14 points and two on 13, so oh, it's already looking close up there. Alright, we've got Chelsea next in the league, 
has been raining right let's go London, let's see if we can get a good win against Chelsea Yang. I knew he was going to save that. Didn't put enough power on it, man. But there was a great one from a bump. Oh, I should have shot this pole. I don't think he would have got down like that quick enough, man. Conte. Conte. And stood there like a brick wall, man. Well, Nicola Pepe can certainly be a nightmare for opponents. He's demonstrated that in the past. Lee, what do you think we might oh, see? Oh, Kulabani gets that out. Well, how do you stop him? My cross was probably a little bit too games. late there. I suggest. Well, it looked highly promising, oh, but they got nothing out of it. Takes the shot. Oh, Pepe! How do you miss that one? How do you miss that one? Should be the first goal of the game. Goal from Manchester City. Gossam. Oh, we are peppering them, man. Got to break through into Pepe. Pepe. Yes. <laughs> yes, Pepe. Goalkeeper did the right thing in coming out, but nah, wasn't going to stop him from scoring. Oh, nearly made a fatal error there. It's with Guerrero. Guerrero. Oh. Guerrero. Guerrero. Well, getting away with each other. Good job it was half time. Damn it, man. Intercepted well. Well, they couldn't keep possession. And it's Obama Young. And in the nick of time. That looked like it could have been a foul, to be honest, because he really did mash him up. But he's looked very, very lively Zappa Costa as well. puts in a cross, and Gabriel intercepts that well. They know they've got to make one of them count. Fired over by Guerrero. Punched out well by Leno. Now Bakayoko, what's he going to do here? Oh, it's a penalty in the opinion of the referee. And, maybe they'll and his opinion trash. Bit. That's what his opinion is. How is that a penalty? Let, let me check. Let me check. Yeah, he knows exactly where. Oh, he actually turned his back to me as well. You know. Wow. Certainly knows what the referee's thinking. Damn it. No difficulties encountered. Oh. Yeah, break from league action for players. Always a good atmosphere. Run down there. A bomb young man. Should be a great match that. And now passing it through. Oh! Oh! Using his physical strength to make sure he doesn't lose the ball. Wow! Come on, man! They need to sort out these deflections because they're horrible. Most times they are just horrible. They make no sense. Oh, Kuda Bali, man! He has been a thorn in my side all game. What kind of touch was that, Pepe? All that, be, all that seemed to be doing is getting draws this season, man. Come out! Why did you let him get his foot onto that? That's poor goalkeeping. That's very poor goalkeeping from Leno. You should have not let him get his foot onto that. Unfortunately, I think I've made the substitution a bit too late, but I'm bringing on Martinelli for um, Aubameyang because Aubameyang ain't really doing much this game. And I'll bring on Saka for Lozano as well. Possession lost. Oh, if it's not damn cool about it, it's Bakayoko. If it's not Bakayoko, it's Kante. Oh, Able defending, but can they keep it out? Bro, move! Don't let him... Moves. <laughs> Did you see how slow he was moving as well? And now Guerrero is playing. Oh, that's a goal. This is like the winner. That's awful. Well, Are we gonna actually lose our winning streak here well to them? There might very well be late excitement oh, man. from a smooth Chani Ceballos. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Oh, in with a chance! Yes, that's what I'm talking about! That's what I'm talking about. That's why I brought Martinelli on. <laughs> Everyone's falling on the floor. Yes, Martinelli. You just scored your hat trick and you're coming. We ain't losing our 
not winning streak just yet. Or unbeaten should, streak, should I say. We ain't losing that just yet, man. Beautiful through ball from Sabayas. And look, look at that. Look at the amount of space he just opens up for himself. I feel like we should have won that game with the amount of chances we had. But I'll take a draw because it's not a loss. But we, I feel like we're drawing a bit too much already at the start of the season. Yeah, we had way more chances than them. Come on, man. I'm going to watch this on the interactive sim. Let's see what we can do against Real Sociedad with the first team. I know we've got Man City after this, but I don't really want to have to play this. Because right, the, the beat us in the Super Cup. But come on, man. This is Real Sociedad. I'll play the Juventus game, but... Bamiyan, Sabayos, Sabayos, over the top to Bamiyan, Bamiyan still got it in the box, but Bamiyan scores, 1-0, great goal by the looks of it, might have been on the volley, just straight past the keeper, oh, hits the post, still got it inside of the box here, and just managed to take it off him, well, that's going to be all for the first half. I'm just going to jump to result. Oh, 1-0. No. Didn't need to watch the second half. Right, so it's 4 versus 5th in this Arsenal versus Man City um, game. Which will also be the last game of the episode. Aubameyang's going up to an 89. I love, I love FIFA 21. Because when your players are over the age of 30, it doesn't absolutely wreck them. You can still go up and I love it, man. That is just, it's so realistic. Like, come on. I hope he gets a 90 by the end of the season. Look at that, look at that sprint speed of 98, man. Saliba is at 84. I think, I, I don't know if I said before, but Leno's now a 90 as well. How desperate are they to have Mustafi at the back? Mustafi, you know. <laughs> okay, please not get a draw again. Let's, treat, let's try and win this, man. Put it to bed. Okay. Etihad Stadium. We're at the Etihad Stadium. Derek Ray here on the commentary box, joined as always by Ronaldo Silva. And England fullback Lee Dixon. And very much looking forward to bringing the action from the Premier League. It's it is well. Manchester City up against Arsenal. Yeah, thanks, Derek. Looking forward to a bright light. Okay, that was my bad. I should have passed up on the Federico Valverde. Valverde. Angelino. Nice looking pass. over the top. Jovic. De Bruyne. Nice interception from Gabriel. And here's the Manchester City lineup. Emerick Laporte. Oh, alongside if that didn't even run away from him, he could have put that through to Lozano. And we all know how fast Lozano is. He would have got away, man. De Bruyne. What a, what a De Bruyne pass and what an interception from Saliba. Given the circumstances. Here are the starters. That was a typical De Bruyne pass that was all, so, man. Into Aubameyang. Aubameyang! Oh ho ho! Just slow down a bit. Mocked him a bit. Bang! <laughs> Aubameyang, man. Look how much he slows down here. Slows down a lot, you know. Nah. Damn, that went straight above the goalkeeper's head. Intercepted well by Pepe, but we've got the loose ball. Mustafi. De Bruyne. Herrera. Herrera. Here's Valverde. Valverde. Luka Jovic. Jovic. Good use of the ball, but can they trouble the defence? Herrera. It is advantage Manchester City. De Bruyne. Of possibilities in some. What interception from Tierney? Need his raw pace to get back there. Oh, what an interception again from Tierney. Into Lozano. Lozano, there we go. Thought he missed that, you know. Lozano hits that with his right foot and it goes straight into the corner. The most potent fun three I've had on this channel, without a doubt. I say that, I've only had two series where I've played a front three. <laughs> Including this one. <laughs> Into Lozano again. Lozano. Oh, he was a bit selfish there. Could have passed that off. Lozano did well to get it onto that one though. 
Oh, he's injured. Offside. It's a good, very good goal from a centre back, but it's offside, unfortunately. They're doing a Liverpool with playing this high line. I'm thinking it will work. Oh, snapped it, and the goalkeeper did a very good save. Played into the centre of the box. Well, Punched out. Lozano's healed from this knock that he had earlier on. Herrera. Valverde. Intercepted. Sterling. Intercepted well. And that's the half-time whistle. Nicola Pepe. Oh, it's a good pass as well, man. Just needed a bit more pace to get onto that one. A little bit more. The Bruyne. It's a second goal for Leicester City. Fifty minutes, please. The staff is putting over the top balls into De Bruyne, you know. Herrera. Promising attack, this. Valverde. And Sterling. Sterling's offside. I like Kosterman as a right back, though, you know. Pretty damn good. And in with a real chance. Surely. There it is. Keep coming. Oh, Bobby. Again. Can he get the golden boot three times in a row? I'm pretty sure. Isn't Terry Henry the only sh player in history to get the, in Premier League history to get the golden boot three times in a row? If you know, comment down below. But by the time you do that, I'm already going to find out because I'm probably going to search after the video. <laughs> ah, Cancelo was on to me there. He knew what I was going to do. Aston Villa. Yeah, game after game. The season Bernardo. is relentless, but players just Bernardo. love to play. Give them a game. But now fancy passes like that when he's 3 0 down, you know. Can he put it away? Okay, fair enough. It went in. He's just fascinating. The pace really hurts defences. He's just got to continue his run. Nelson. Can he finish? Nelson. And there we go. Reese Nelson scoring goals against Man City. Got him through behind. Well, and I didn't think he had enough pace then, but he did just to get away, and the shot was beautiful. To be fair, oh, oh. that was a mistake from him. Damn it, man! They are just leaving it open for Nelson here, and Nelson is just—it's like I'm—I'm I'm running through. I'm going to score, aren't I? <laughs> I don't know why they just keep leaving him open. They don't respect him clearly. Let's try and get him his hat trick. Oh, I, I wouldn't have got past Walker anyway. Okay, so I'm finally getting transfer offers for these trash ass players. 1.4 for this court keeper. Selling him. 1.3 for Medley. Selling him. Why does it take so long to get offers for them? I'm pretty sure I'm just going to accept everything now. Because I know someone's going to start moaning. Ah, give me some game time, boss. Okay, so I'll just sim this Villa game for the last game of the episode. Uh, with the second team, because we've got Juventus straight after. So we don't want to mess this one up. Okay. And this confrontation is underway. I'm hoping we can get away with the win and end the episode strong against the Villa. The Villa, you know. Looks promising, oh, oh, I thought Nelson Liverpool was going to get in there on his good form from the last episode, from the last Dizzy. game. Come on, Nelson, pass it off. Should have passed it off into Martinelli while you had the chance, man. And what the hell is Gwen Doozy doing? McGinn. McGinn. Alert no, defending. didn't work out. Over the top to Saka. Collects it nicely. Gwendouzi. Back in the centre. Well, Martinelli. They're certainly allowing their opponents to come on to them. Reese Nelson. That's a lovely ball. It's a nice ball, yeah. Still level here, but the pressure escalates. It's promising. Go on. Go on. Go on. Just clear the Bro, the Gwen Doozy, what is he playing like, man? He had so much time to shoot. To cut it out. It is there. Yeah, okay. Opportunity here. Come on, Gwen Doozy. You're going to shoot better Thompson than that. Poor shot selection, man. Who are you, Westbrook? Come on now. Teammates in the middle. Oh. Wenduzi. Okay, it is nil nil at half time. It's like the second half. Damn it. He was gliding. 
and the referee has pointed to the spot. A penalty it is, and a chance for them to forge. I'm not even going to jump in. He's been admonished. I'm not going to jump in. Whatever happens, happens. And the penalty is converted. I don't think any. Nazano's going on the right side. Saka's staying on, man. Look. Look at that amp this up, man. Gabriel Martinelli. Oh, come on, Martinelli. Looks promising this. What kind of cross was that? Who did the balls as well? Defending. Effective work from Arsenal to regain possession. The ball needs to go out, man, because we need to make these subs. Matteo Guendouzi. Good looking ball. And return to Torres. Bang it! Come on, Nelson. Bang it! They never bang it from the edge of the box on this, man. Well, looks like we won't be unbeaten this season. <laughs> what a way to end the episode. What a way to end the episode. Well, let's look at it this way. We're still on for the quadruple. <laughs> <laughs> and being unbeaten is kind of like a it was a pie in the sky although if I I am unbeaten in all my play games that's going to annoy me that's going to seriously annoy me but we'll find out what happens next time